Hello and welcome to this video about um, replacing a belt on an esoteric P500 or P700 transport uh, for that matter and really that is applicable to any VRDS units. VRDS units very rigid disc system is basically a way of clamping a disc in, and this is a, a spinning platter to which the turntable comes up from uh, below and holds the disc. Um, the tray normally doesn't come out, not because the tray driving belt is faulty, but the belt that brings the tray up. In this particular unit, I've already replaced it, and, and this is one of those that goes gooey, you say, that's, that's bits of that belt, and of course you have to clean the pulleys, and it's all messy, it, it really is. Um, I normally do it without removing the mechanism and without removing the front panel but this time I've removed the front panel in order to demonstrate it easier. Um, four screws, two on each side and two underneath, take the panel out and then there are two ribbon cables that needs to be gently unplugged from the main board. Um, really, once it's removed to plug them back in, you have to remove the bottom <laughs> as well of the player, but it's just more screws and it comes out. So it's no problem. Then slide into those. Um, there are a couple of, you can see them, a couple of uh, sockets there. Um, next, two screws each way to remove the bridge. Same thing on P700. And the next stage is to remove the tray tray just simply slides out until that spot where the catch needs to be disengaged. You just lift it up a bit and it comes out. Um, and there it is, your KSS 151A in full glory. This slides on magnetic rails very easily. When you have a mechanism locking and you have a screw underneath, this is what it does. It locks it so it cannot go any further when you unlock it what it is. Two belts. One belt is there. This is the one that drives the tray and uh, that's easily replaced which I've already done. But the second one drives the turntable. It drives it up and down. Um, to get to it, to replace it, you have to remove that warm gear there. And uh, in order to do that all of this has to come out. So you start first, you see this micro switch, that micro switch normally lives there and it engages the cam and it tells the servo um, there's a cam there, you see, it engages that. Um, it tells the servo if the tray is in and out. So one way it tells it it's in and the other way it's out. While you have it out, clean it. Clean it, put a multimeter that you really have a zero ohm on contacts either way. The reason we are removing it, because if we don't, if we remove all that, we'll bend the arms and mangle it and you'll never get that micro switch again. To remove that assembly, two C clips have to come out. Um, one is on that, uh, that I suppose also is some kind of um, one drive and one of the two that hold this rod. I remove the one on, on the left side and then you can push it out to that side, remove it, having the other one out, all comes out, you have access to that um, one drive, then it's easy to replace the belt and, and you put it back the way it was before. This particular thing goes uh, either way, it doesn't matter, it's symmetrical, but you have to see that this fork has indentation going uh, on top rather than uh, on the bottom. Nothing much more to it. Um, one pointer is that in general when you remove C-clips, have an old magnet, um, hard drive magnet next to it, so when you pull on with a screwdriver it will stay on the magnet rather than fly off and never to be found again. Um, that's about it. Um, 
once I reassemble all that, it should then work uh, properly. Important thing to do is, whenever you work on the mechanics like that, is to then use your finger and then slowly, you see the, the turntable is going down, make sure that it all works fine. If it works fine now, it's going to work when the motor is engaged. And we can see the cam there is approaching its resting position and will tell, tell micro switch, well this is it, drive no further. Well, I normally of course go up and down with it so, to check that the operation is smooth. Well, thank you very much for your time and till the next one.